just recapping here from today, that's your formula sheet you're going to have in the exam. And what we did yesterday was this bit here. What we've done today is actually that bit there. Okay, so we said the expected value of AX is the same as A times the expected value of X, which was, this is page 131 of your Sigma workbook, and we've got the expected value of X plus B is the same as the expected value of X plus B, and we've got the expected value of AX plus B equals the expected value, A times the expected value of X plus B. Badly written. Those three, these two, are basically the same as that, but with this one B is zero, and with this one A is zero. Does that make sense? Okay. And in context, what does that mean? With the example given, was that if this was the number of people in a hotel room, that was the rate, and B was the standard charge. So it doesn't matter if you add the standard charge and make a whole new dis distribution table, or whether you add the standard charge at the end. It doesn't matter if you've got the expected number of people, and you've got the amount that you'll charge per person, you don't need to do, do a whole new table. You can actually just use this rule. So those are the two things, two lessons. We've done two things. Tomorrow, we're actually going to be looking at variance. Okay?